Yeah, demo sat is a lot of things. It was a 3U cube sat, about this big. Each U is like a little cube. Three of them stacked together. It went to a sun synchronous low earth orbit. Physically, it's 30 by 10 by 10 centimeters. But I think like most critically, emotionally, is it was proof. We can do this, it's, it's gonna happen. Demosat, as the name implies, because I excel at naming things, is a satellite to demonstrate the fact that we are capable of building a communications spacecraft. The main function of Demosat was to relay signals that were transmitted up from the ground, relay them back down to the ground at another point. These signals are like a very well-controlled wave. What our satellites do is take these analog waves that are coming up from the ground, keep adjusting the phase, and then we digitize those waves into ones and zeros. The receiver understands as a certain bit sequence from that those modifications to the signal. Once you have that in ones and zeros, and then with all the processing power we have on board, there's a huge amount you can do with those signals. If you think about everything that goes into building an Astrana satellite, a lot of what we do is finding components that already exist and putting them on the satellite. We weren't trying to like re-engineer every single part of the satellite. That was like a philosophical decision we made early on, but there are certain parts that we will design and build ourselves, and the most critical one was our software-defined radio. Those kind of our secret sauce. There's huge value in just showing that you can launch something into space as a company and that it will work. Not only are you proving out all of the technical capabilities of your team and what you built, but you're showing that you can do all the other things as well. You can go get a launch contract, you can deal with the regulations. So just proving out a whole system end to end is hugely valuable for an early company. Our first office space was actually renting a few desks from another company who had no idea what renting a few desks to a hardware company was going to entail. I think they were very glad to see us leave. Not that we didn't try to be good tenants. We built Demosat in a studio apartment in downtown San Francisco. Uh, you can say that as many times as you want. You're not going to understand it. The very first office was 21 Stillman, a loft apartment in, in San Francisco. We all sat upstairs super close together. You know, the, the top floor was engineering, the bottom floor was lunch. There's the kitchen. That was a bedroom and now it's the office. John and Ryan like board games. We'd have a board game night. I'm good at all of the board games. I would win. <laughs> you know, now, of course, we have board game night that like hardly fit in a room. There's just something about that startup in a garage feel that is very, very special. That energy of like being there for each other, grabbing onto all the energy around you and like making shit together has been here from the very beginning. Everything was right there. Of course, all the hardware, everyone's desks, you know, all the ideas at the same time. You get to know people so intimately when you're that small. Yeah, it was like we were working a lot, we were working hard. It was that small, tight group. And so everybody was like really best friends, um, which was really nice. We built demo set in a clean room that I built out of shower curtains and, and PVC pipe. Just sitting over a little desk with the cheapest tools you could buy off eBay or Alibaba. <laughs> it's the best you could find. No. I think the biggest challenge was probably just trying to do, you know, all these different things in a very short time frame. You know, there's a lot of stuff that goes into making a, a spacecraft. And you were the sole contributor to that part of the system, and it was definitely a grind, honestly, to, to pull that off in the time we did. We did have one piece of equipment, and that was a very small bandsaw, which was in a closet, which we called the bandsaw room. Uh, <laughs> and a number of uh, pieces were cut in there that are now in space. You don't really get what launching something is until it's leaving the Earth. Like, it's going, it's gone, you launched it. And launching it was crazy. We would have to fly it at all random times of the day because you get like 14 passes per day, 10 minutes per pass. You got to be on it when it comes around your ground station. It launched and we didn't hear from it. Uh, it was silence at first. We had a whole launch party and Ryan was actually on his computer ready to talk to Demosat in the party. I was sitting there you know, trying to, to talk to it, and it wasn't wasn't responding to me. Where's our satellite? Why isn't it talking? Where are you? At one point when we were looking around around our ground station, one other genius employee kind of poking around, hey guys, what's that? We're like, what, what are you talking about? There's a radio tower like 100 yards away. Oh, maybe we're being jammed. It was right next to a college radio station, and <laughs> it was interfering with our comms. KSUA, the radio station for the University of Alaska, could we 
just get the radio station to turn off for a little bit. Well, Brady called them because he used to be a radio DJ. I was just a kid getting out of college saying, all right, just call another kid in college. He called them up and he was like, hey guys. You're not really gonna believe this. I work for an aerospace company in San Francisco. It would be really cool if you could like, you know, go dark for a little bit, like 15 minutes as our satellite comes across. And they were totally chill with it. They just like turned off their transmissions. They turned it off and we got pings. Data up, data down, everything worked. It was such a huge relief once we had achieved mission success with Demosat. What do I imagine they were playing on this radio station? I, I imagine that it was just free for all, whichever DJ was playing their favorite music and it was like all over the place. I just think it's hardcore punk rock, mostly because Brady was on the phone with them and that's his shtick. <laughs> Demosat proved that we were legit, or that we were real. Very quickly, we started getting a lot of interest from early customers. It was then that we got to meet our customer at Pacific Dataport in Alaska. And then it was time to go build our first commercial satellite. 